Previously on The Potentialists. There's an award ceremony for the alumni. Welcome to the alumni award ceremony. I think it's better, by the way. I was so close to getting The Rock on camera. I said no, so get you back on. I'm not going to waste your time. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Ooh, woo, woo. That's what people think meditation is or spirituality. It's not so. Meditation is really about connecting with your inside. We spend so much time talking and listening to things and music and people and noises and sounds and all that stuff. You can't really listen to what your inside is saying. Meditation, I don't know if you guys know, but it's been scientifically proven to enhance your lifestyle and reduce stress. What it does is it lets you center with yourself. My favorite kind of meditations are usually the guided meditations, which means somebody's taking you through a journey. I think those are a lot easier to focus on somebody's journey and picture those things or experience those things. It makes it a little bit easier to get to that place where you can connect with yourself. A lot of times we spend so much time on the outside and trying to look good and you know showing people how that but our insides are totally out of whack. So meditation can kind of center that energy and you really listen to your inside. People talk about energy all the time, like what is energy? A simplistic explanation for energy is, you know, you walk into a room and you feel this person that they're either gonna cry or they're angry. Nobody said a word and you kind of pick up on their body language, but it's also they're vibrating differently. The average person vibrates at about seven to nine megahertz. When we're meditating, we can bring down those megahertz to about seven. What is saying? It's cleansing negative energies and uh, just empowering us. The other thing that I like to do frequently is uh, cleansing. So what happens is a lot of times we have these thick energies. You know what I'm saying? You walk into a house and you're like, God, I don't know what it is, but it feels weird here. You guys ever felt that? Oh my gosh. And sometimes you walk into a house and you're like, wow, it feels fantastic here. We pick up on people's energy a lot. So it kind of attaches itself to us and our environment. The saging is just a cleansing. Lots of religions use the cleansing and lots of non-religions use the cleansing. What I like to use is sage. Basically, you can buy the sage and you just smoke it out. This smoke kind of attaches itself to the negative. And then when you open the windows or you go out into the earth, it kind of just goes out and it dissipates. That's what cleansing is for me. A cleansing. That's what I always thought of that too. Yeah. Pushing. You're not protecting yourself with anything. You're not doing anything funky. It's just a way of letting the smoke attach to the negative. Every uh, Indian culture that I've ever read about or studied yes, anthropology has done it. That's a very Even normal thing. Catholics do it. Yeah. You walk into with the church incense. And they have the incense. Yeah, absolutely. Did it get smoker because he needs it more than all of us? He took in all, everybody's energy because he was cleansing everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was the last one. He cleansed all of us, so I made sure to kind of blow it all away okay. and away from him because he took in everybody's energy. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment and check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me? <laughs>